Megan Marco, we have learned that she has come to terms with that rejection. We know she was recently rejected in that trademark application. Sources are now claiming that her team is springing into action to try and think about other names they could use to apply for a new trademark or to make an appeal. Remember, she was given it three months to table an appeal and come up with new names and reapply, pay new fees and all of that sort of thing. So apparently her team, <laughs> Megan Marco's team, has now sprung into action. They are coming up with lots and lots of ideas and throwing in names here and there to try and get that trademark application secured. Mm. Seems like Meghan Marco is now starting to listen and to use or take a device, seek a device and that sort of thing. Because if she had done this before, I don't think that application would have been rejected. So let's wait and see what comes of their new application. Megan Mark and her projects, of course, seem to be <clears throat> moving like a snail. Things seem not to be working out the way she would have wanted. First, her Spotify projects that got cancelled by Spotify. I'm talking about the Ashy Types podcasts. Then the Netflix series and the deal, the not Mm, producing those episodes they are moving sluggishly in that direction Netflix is apparently thinking of cancelling the trademark was application was rejected so things seem not to be moving in the direction that Meghan Markle would have wanted and I know many people are wondering why and some, of course, think that this is due to the path that Meghan Markle, Prince Harry took of whinging and uh, always um, uh, throwing the royal family under the bus and, you know, saying this and that about the royal family and, and how that really has um, tarnished their reputation moving forward. But for me, I think the real big blocker for Meghan Marco and her projects here is that fake courtesy of Queen Elizabeth. She might have done whatever she did in the Oprah Winfrey interviews. You know, those interviews we are since pulled down. People forget sometimes what people say, but actions are never forgotten and that fake courtesy action is still very raw in many people's uh, minds and I think it is one of those things that are haunting this whole process of Meghan Markle moving forward in the way she would have wanted because nobody mocks the Queen and 